Oh, while I am escaping with the T. G'day, I'm ET, and welcome to the show. Well, this week we're up at Cape York and we're fishing all around the top of Australia. Albany Island's our base with CY charters, and let me tell you, we're having a ball catching loads of different species. I've got a beautiful long tail here. Oh, we've got lots of action on the show. Check it out. Double hookup, Mickey. We've got double hookups to die Ooh, for. Nice one, Mickey. Size of it. There we go. That's a solid long tail, hey? Woo! I go kayak fishing the easy way and come up with a flathead. Flathead! <laughs> oh. I try my hand at tropical fly casting. Yeah, finally. And get chased by sharks. See the size of them? Woo! Oh, look at them behind look, the boat there. Quick, quick. Another beautiful day in paradise on Albany Island, near the northernmost tip of Cape York Peninsula. Today I'm heading out from the lodge to try fly casting on a bigger scale than I've ever done before. But on the way, we get distracted by surface fish activity, so I decide oh, yeah. to give it a spin. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. That was well done. <laughs> well, we've come straight out from the lodge, just sitting just over here on that beautiful sandy beach, and uh, long tail tuna, mac tuna, all busting up all over the place, the terns and all the seabirds there. Give them away. And uh, we've been casting in there with these chrome lures, and. Uh, Basically, first cast, and you're on. Nice mac tuna. Well done. Yeah, good fish. Good way to start the day, first cast. And with that under our belts, we can happily cruise on towards the major event. While Mick does some more fishing, I'm ready for a session on the shallows. Let the fly casting begin. Although Mick doesn't think much of my first result. Did we bring a ruler? <laughs> no. That's a golden, little baby golden. There we go. Hey, Mick. These golden trevally are great fun. We've been up on the on the flats here. It's only a few feet of water, but there's lots of weed and and big sand patches. So the perfect sort of place to, to catch these guys. Oh. But we soon follow the birds back out to the deep where the big action is. Look at the colours, aren't they beautiful? Mackerel. Woo, good work. Little torpedoes. Oh, mix on again. Another mac or something. Huh? There's just some fish out here, isn't there? And all that activity is exactly where I want to cast my fly. And it works. Yeah, finally. Woo! Yeah, baby. Woo! That's what we wanted. Oof, I'll tell you what, that took a while. It's amazing fishing here, just fish all around us. And uh, if you ever want to go fly fishing and actually tick off a fish you haven't caught before on the old bucket list, well, this is the perfect place. Gosh, sure is some fish here, this is amazing. Incredible. I know I'm not uh, the best of fly fishermen, but I can tell you it's a whole lot of fun. There he is, there's the fish up on the top. Shark behind him, is that a shark or a mackerel? Big Spaniard, look at the size of him. Oh, big shark now, massive shark, going berserk. If you haven't been fishing before, I can tell you. This is where you get hooked for life. Yeah, baby. See the size of him? Woo! Oh, look at him behind the bait deck. Wow, big shark. Very well done, mate. I don't know how you got that. <laughs> oh, well, there you go, Tom. Mate, thanks for that. Good netting. <laughs> I was a bit worried. Two big sharks at the back of the boat. Oh, and now the other rod's going off. Beautiful big tuna on the deck, and what about this? There you go, Mick. Well, you've got to be careful with these guys. So 
Yeah. Woo! All right. Well done. Well done. What we've done here, we've just uh, we've just put a single gamakatsu on the back, and that was what actually hooked the shark. So you can see what the shark's done with his teeth. The sharks will be all over this thing. Good faster. That's a thumping fish. Wow. What about that, hey? Amazing, we thought, right. We've just about run out of chromies. Let's just troll around the school and see what we can catch. And what a cracking fish. Biggest mackerel of the day. Look at that. Sensational. That is what we're after, champion. Oh. Whoa. We thought, right, okay. We're just about out of chromies. I think we've got a few little metal <laughs> things left, but we said let's troll around some of these uh, barra baits. And they are dynamite. They're oh. absolutely killing it. They've just been hooking on left, right, and centre. We're not even close to the school. We're just sort of cruising about 200 metres away, and these Spaniards are cruising past, and that oh. is a cracking fish. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! That's a good fish. That's a great fish. Yeah. Botany Bay, right under the flight path of Sydney International, is where I'm cruising in my new Quintrex 570 cruise about. It's the perfect platform for both family fun and fishing. A little bit of bait down there showing on the bottom. But here we go, we're going to come over the sand in about three seconds. And here we go, onto the sand. And look at the sand, completely clean. With my Garmin Advanced Electronics and my Tonic Polaroid Enhanced Vision, both telling me it's fishy down there, it's time to take a cast. Yep. Yeah, baby. Woo! Hey! Ah, it's good when a plan comes together. Been working in around these sand flats and weed banks. Oh, it's so clear. Oh, there he is. I can see him a long way out. Oh, that's great. There he is. Oh, that's beautiful. Then you come, mate. Well, there you go. Beautiful flathead. And uh, I thought I might get him up here on the edge here. Really clean water, but it drops away suddenly. And uh, very easy to see all the weed up here. Such a lovely, clear day. But the flathead, well, the tide's just turned. And so they switch automatically on. They know that the bait is now going to be pushing off the flats and down into the gutters and down off the edges. So, you know, that's, uh, that's what you've got to think as, as an angler. You've got to be thinking, right, what are the fish thinking? Where are they going to be laying? And along this edge, that's the perfect ambush spot. And with a brisk wind blowing up on the way home, the perfect situation for a Nautilus Marine boating safety tip. A couple of things to remember. Number one, make sure you stay on one side of the double way ramp. Often people park right in the middle, really causes a lot of trouble. The other thing, as you can see, the wind is pouring across here. At the moment, it's blowing at about, well, 15 to 20 knots from the southeast. And so I've picked a ramp that's actually facing north, so it's going to give me the best possible protection. And that's the most important thing. Before you start your day, check out what the wind's doing. You need to allow for the conditions you'll get at the start and end of your day on the water. The wind's pouring across at this angle, so you've got to make sure you go on straight. So it's very tricky, very difficult in this sort of conditions. Now I've got to obviously aim just slightly to the left because the wind's pushing it back to the, to the right. I'm going to let the wind just blow us around here. Make sure your motor's always lined up nice and straight. The sandy beaches and crystal clear waters of southern Moreton Bay are the perfect setting for kayak fishing. And it's twice as much fun when you can get your legs to do the paddling and share the work with a fishing companion. 
Well, a nice little fish, doesn't feel too big. Nat, over on the left, look at that. Flathead! It is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've been working pretty hard at trying to catch these, but this is a little baby on the green and white jig. And I'm with Nat from Sun State Hobie, and I'm in one of these beautiful, oh, oasis. Little Hobie, oh, like a little flathead. Come here, fella. Now, these guys are actually dangerous at this size. You've got to be very careful. They've got these gill rakers on the side of their head, each side just here and here. And, uh, yeah, pretty clean hookup. OK, there we have it. Lovely little flathead. And the broadwater up here is just renowned for these guys in big numbers. They've just had the flathead classic a few weeks back and, uh, and they caught oh, hundreds and hundreds of flathead of all different sizes. But a beautiful breeding ground. I'll let this guy go. See you, mate. Whoosh. <laughs> Back down to the depths. Never see him again. Never see him again. <laughs> and uh, we're cruising around on pedal power today. It's just been fantastic. And have a look at this. No wind. It was windy a little earlier, but uh, no wind now, which is pretty cool. And we're having an absolute ball. It's the kind of day in the water where any fish you hook is a pure bonus. Oh, we just got this little flathead. Second of the day, but unfortunately, he's only a tiny tot. And about the same size. Gorgeous little fish, but the right species, but not the size we're after. We'll just let this one go. Just a little three inch uh, curly tail. Beautiful little lure. All right. Another new day on remote Albany Island, and we're on our way to the absolute northernmost tip of Australia. There it is, tip of Australia. Quite amazing. There's, what, 20 people on, on top of the rock? But we're more interested in the crowds of fish than crowds of people. And around here, they're huge. Oh, yeah, look at that strike. Woohoo! Woo well, basically, the lodge is just straight back there where all the boys just uh, have peeled out. We've got another boat out today as well. And we're here with the boys from CY Charters up at Cape York. And have a look at this for action. And there's all sorts of fish all mixed in. We've got trevally, we've got mackerel, we've got uh, both types of tuna, mac tuna and long tails. And I'm not quite sure what I'm on it at the moment, but wow, it really exploded on the surface. There's the colour. There you go. Ooh. Yep, just a, a nice mac tuna. All right. First one of the day. Woohoo! I think we'll let him go pretty quickly if we can. And there goes the fish. <laughs> Work, Mickey. Queen fish. Woo. Right, in the net. Get on your brother. <laughs> nice queenie. Look at this there. Hold it there. Beautiful. Good work, me. And it's the same wherever we go. Maybe turn her off, turn her off. Yeah. Yeah. Here they come, they're coming at us, have a look at that. It's a massive school of fish. It's going to just blow into them. We'll get a cast in it about, uh, about now. Double hook up, Mickey. Yes! Oh, flying fish everywhere. See what it was like? Serious. I'll tell you what, he's going hard, huh? Could be tuna, but... Up pretty high. Give his head up. What do you got? I don't know, I can't see him yet. Yeah, you're, uh, we're over the top of each other, mate. Just crossed it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. All good. I've got some colour down there. Yeah, oh, a nice tuna. Nice long tail. Oh, nice one, Mickey. Size of it. Just keep him there for a sec. Good work. Here we go, that's a solid long tail, eh? Woo! What a cracker. Locked in. Oh, oof, took a while. <laughs> oh, I just couldn't get down. That's a cracking fish. Alright. Nice one, Mick. I don't think they'll be going back in a hurry. What do you reckon? Pretty cool stuff. Double whammy, look at the size of them. Beautiful fish. Absolute crackers. So many fish. Sucked in. It was bound to become competitive. The valley don't count, eh? Is that what you said? 
<laughs> Cod. No, that ain't count. It's a counter. Yeah, pretty fish. Well done. Competition's on this afternoon. My good mate Mick down the back, he's on seven. Right. It's not good. What's that, Mick? Nine. How many are you still? Five? Yep. You're kidding me. Tuna's worth two. Mackerel's worth three. Go change it. Ten. I gotta let him win sometime, otherwise he'll be here all night. He'll keep going until he gets in front. So you wish him put my rod down, I'll pretend I'm not catching you, let him win. Just mark my words, we'll be here all night. But don't. I got one here. Mackerel's worth three. It's a mackerel. No, it's not. It is two. It's a tuna, I can see it. What's that worth? Three. Eleven six, eh? Oh. Well, how about two points for the next whoever catches the next? Nah, how about shut up and just play the games? I'm trying to change the rules. Oh, right there, look at that. Oh. Twelve. What'd you catch one? Twelve six. He's doubled my score. Ten minutes left. Okay, we're gonna go to bed. Oh, look at that. Pulled out right there. What's oh, that? What? My lure must be too little. Ah. Uh. Mackerel. My line's too long. It's not fair. 13. It's not a fair, fair playing field. You 13. use this rod now. No, why? Why? Because you You're can't the let fish. You're the pro. What, what are you doing down the back? It's not enough room for the two of us. Well, I, can't, I can't land the fish, see? The biggest cheat. But in the end, we both lost count anyway. Your winning rig needs a 3-0, 3 3-6 kilo or Revolution T-curve rod. Sustained 4,000 or 6,000 FG reel. 20 to 50 pound Power Pro or Fins Braid and fluorocarbon to match. And Spaniard or Gillies bait fish lures with Gamakatsu hooks. Well, we've had a great time here at Albany Island with the guys from CY Charters. So many different species on offer. I hope you enjoyed the show too, and I look forward to escaping with you summer on the water next week. See you then.